Hey guys, um, so I'm going to talk about how to score items in Qualtrics. Uh, I hope this video is helpful. Okay, so I went ahead and created a sample survey. Um, it's just a copy of some stuff that we had. Um, so you can ignore this first part. Um, but let's pretend this is your survey and you wanted to include a PHQ-9. So that's great, um, but now we want to have scores for each of these items. So as we know, in the PHQ-9, um, the first column is 0, 1, 2, and 3. So we need to set those values. So the first thing you want to do is scroll up to the top and go to the top right where it says Advanced Options. And then from the menu, select Scoring. Okay, so once you get to this page, you'll see that everything that's scorable is going to be in these gray boxes. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is go up here to where it says Score. Um, and we'll go to Manage Categories. So what you, what's happening here is Qualtrics is assigning whatever you're scoring to a category. That's how it knows what to do with it. Um, so it's it defaults to the name score, so we can go ahead and edit that. And we'll call it PHQ9. And here it says zero items because we haven't scored anything yet. So um, go ahead and save this. But Oh, and if you wanted to add other categories, this is where you would do that. But for now, we'll just have one. So go ahead and press save. Okay, so now we can edit. So let's scroll down to our page Q9. Okay, here we go. So you can actually type in what you want things to be scored as. Um, like that, you can just manually do it. Um, but since each of our columns are going to be you know, the same, we can do that in aggregate. So you can just click this blue arrow here and set the whole column to a certain value. We have one, two, and three. Oops. Okay, great. So that's the first part. So we'll scroll back up. And let's go back to our survey editor. Okay, great. So we've set the values for the individual items on the PHQ-9. And now we want people to see their score. So um, in a separate block, uh, you can add an item, like something like this, like your score is. And we can go to this second tab um, where it says pipe text. We'll go to scoring, and this is where the categories come in. So we only have one category, but if you had others, they would be listed there. Um, so we're just going to select our PHQ-9 and score. That's their total score. Great, so that's going to pipe in uh, whatever they score on the PHQ-9. So now let's say um, we want people who scored a certain amount on the PHQ-9 to get different feedback um, from other, you know, other groups. So let's go ahead and set that up. So the first thing we're going to do to do that um, is go to Survey Flow. And I've already set up my different feedbacks into these blocks 1 and 2. Um, you can do any number of feedback types. Um, I'm just going to do two for the sake of simplicity. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is tell Qualtrics to embed data. Um, the reason for this is Qualtrics needs to know uh, that we're saving a value for later. Uh, it doesn't know to automatically do that. So here we can call it um, PHQ9 Oh, yeah, let's just leave it like that. So PHQ-9, and we want to set a value. So we're going to insert our PHQ-9 score. So it's like the same as before. 
So it's going to look like that. Um, and that's it. So you're telling Qualtrics, save this score, and we're going to do something with it. So we can save flow. OK, so now let's go down to our feedback box. OK, so here's my block 1 and block 2. Oops, I had already entered these, but let's enter them again. So let's say we want people who get less than a 10 to get this. Um, your response tells us that your mood has been pretty good. OK, so that's for less than 10. And for people who score more than 10, we want it to tell them your mood has been a bit low. OK. So we're going to do this with display logic. So you can go to add display logic under this gear icon. And we'll click if embedded data, so if our score, so we'll type in PHQ9, because that's what we called it, is less than 10. And we'll click save. And we'll do the same thing for our second feedback block. So add the embedded data if embedded data PHQ9 is greater than, we'll say greater than or equal to, so we get all of our bases covered, 10. Um, great, click save. All right, so that's it. So let's preview it and see what happens. Okay, so we'll ignore this stuff. Okay, PHP 9. So let's click ones for everything. So we should get a score of 9. Okay, next. So there we go. So your score on the PHP 9 is 9. So that's working correctly. So if our logic is working correctly, we should get the feedback that corresponds with a less than 10 score, uh, which is our mood is pretty good. So let's go see what happens. Great. So your mood has been pretty good. Awesome. So that's, that's it. That's what we should get. Um, yeah, so that's it. Okay. I hope that was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, let me or Liz know.